Hey, what is up guys? Welcome to my in-depth guide. This is the Pro MLG guide of how to use the Vesper effectively, which is the best gun in the game. It actually is also the best SMG, but overall I still think most pro players will agree it is the best gun in the game. It has one of the highest ban rates. In fact, it has to be protected or banned in nearly every game if you want to see any player. It's got to be protected. But anyways, before I start the video, I also want to give you guys my credentials because I feel like there's so many guys doing this Call of Duty weapon guide. Alright, so here are my credentials for this game. Alright, so as far as the ranked arena, I am in the Pro Series Masters, which is the highest rank that you can actually get in the game. I've also been to several MLGs, as you guys know, I used to play Halo super competitively, like I've coached teams. And I've also definitely played Indeed. Shout out to Walshy for hooking me up with this. If you guys know Halo. But anyways, now that that's out of the way, let me go ahead and give you guys the stats, which I think is one of the most important things. Obviously, if you are interested in wondering why is this the best gun, how is the best gun. Anyways, the gameplay you're going to be seeing is just going to be a pub match. You can't use the Vesper in ranked. Like, it just it doesn't happen. It will get banned every single time. It's pretty much the first gun to go every game. But anyways, like I said, it's just a quick little pub game, but there are a lot of excellent examples in this gameplay that I think we can actually apply to. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump right into the stats because I think that is one of the most important things when you're wondering, why is this gun good? All right, so what it really comes down to, if you guys want the too long, didn't read, a mom's calling me, she gotta make me mac and cheese. All right, the main thing that this gun does is it just kills so damn fast because it fires at 1200 RPM, which even without rapid fire, uh, you're going to be firing so dang fast that uh, you'll be killing everything before it even has a chance. Like, this gun can kill people when you're at like 1 HP, you can jump in the air and kill someone super, super fast, and they can't even react because the gun is just too fast. Is this Sonic Racing? But uh, as far as the damage and the shots to kills, let's go and jump right into that. So, it does 30 damage up close and 22 uh, at medium range and then 19 pretty much at all distances. So, pretty much, you want to be as close as possible. You can still get kills at those 19 ranges, but pretty much at that range, you shouldn't be taking gunfights in the first place because this gun is literally like a giant katana. Like, you want to be within katana reaching distance uh, with this gun. You just want to be as close as possible. Now, it does have the second fastest time to kill in the SMG category. You might be wondering, well, I thought you said this was the best gun. Well, I'm sure a lot of pro players will agree. Again, if you watch competitive COD, you'll understand, and you'll see the exact class setup that I will also be giving you guys, uh, which is also what everyone runs as far as competitive goes. But it actually will lose to the Pharaoh. Uh, real quick, though, this is an excellent tip if you guys are using the uh, bombing strike. Go to mid-map. Launch it at their spawn, if you're playing Domination, and then flip the spawn. So what you're going to see right here, real quick, quick little Rolling Thunder tip right here. Uh, you just want to flip the spawn immediately, and you'll see, like, well, watch the kill feed right there. I know this the stats blocking, but we, we, just, we just completely pooped on that other team right there. So, what you want to do is you want to throw it on their spawn, and you want to flip the spawn, and then the bombing strike is going to, of course, hit their spawn, and then it's going to hit the spawn that they spawn on, on the second time. But, um, like I said, the, the Pharaoh will actually kill this faster, but ain't nobody good enough with the Pharaoh to get one burst every single time. Overall, this gun just has the best feel to it, just because it fires, again, just super, super fast. The uh, RPM is 1200, and if you run uh, the rapid fire on it, it's going to be 1276. Yes, in a mirror match, that would technically be an advantage, but if you run like the Weevil with Rapid Fire, it's not going to compete with this gun at all. Uh, you see right here, I needed to reload. This class, by the way, is really bad. It was someone recommended me to play this class, and oh man, it, it was a blast to play, but it's not very good. But uh, anyways, it does uh, increase the uh, uh, shots to 1276. Like I said, if you increase it uh, with Rapid Fire, it's at 6% boost. It's very minor. Uh, most of the fights are going to be predetermined anyways, so you'll see most pl pro players, they won't run rapid fire. I have seen them do it. Was that the EU, man? I know, man. Shots fired at EU COD players. Um, but anyways, uh, as far as the reload time, uh, it's 2 seconds and then 2.25 if you have to rechamber the round, which means the uh, clip is complete. And look at that juke over there on that guy with running that Tempest. And then it's 1.4 if you reload cancel, which means right during mid-animation you hit sprint. Um, as far as uh, the recoil, uh, let me go ahead and show you guys a wall test because uh, on average, this is about what the gun will do. Uh, so it's not going to go up and to the right in every single time when you don't run grip. But for the most part, I feel like you can get away without grip in pubs. 
But honestly, before I thought like, you know, grip isn't that great. But obviously, if pro players do it, they do it for a reason. I'm not just saying, oh, if the pro player does it, I do it. If Boxbox does it, I'm going to do it, right? But the thing is, uh, what it really comes down to is because toughness is already in the game. Uh, even though, it, like I said, everyone will have it on every class that they run because it's just built into the game. Uh, when you get shot, there's something called weapon flinch, and that's going to make your gun go like, super, super high up into the air. And you want to reduce that, so having grip obviously will help out with that. It's mostly for competitiveness, but for the most part, uh, it definitely, it's not going to hurt to put grip on. And like I said, you can see from the wall test, it's very minor, but it becomes much more relevant when you get hit. And there's really no way to test the flinching because it can go, in, it's an RNG mechanic in the game. I don't really like RNG mechanics, but it is definitely there, so I thought I would also mention that for you guys. But next up, in this game, there's three categories of wall bang. There's light. Uh, medium and uh, like good, or I guess heavy uh, penetration. So basically, it comes down to terrible and then okay and then very good. Uh, this gun, as well as the M8, are the guns that have terrible wall bang uh, that are seen as like primary. So you don't want to be wall banging with SMGs generally, anyways, but if you have to do it, yeah, go for it, right? Um, there's no real stats that people are putting out for wall bang simply because. Uh, the wall bang in this game, well, there, in most COD games, there's also bullet trajectory, which at angles it can do wonky stuff, so it's really, really hard to measure. But just don't try to wall bang with this gun. Also, don't even try to get headshots with this gun. This gun, it just fires so fast, just aim for, like, the general chest. As long as most of the bullets hit, it doesn't really matter, because, like I said, you're going to fire super, super, super fast. Anyways, uh, the aim down sights time is pretty average. The VMP used to have a faster ADS, but the thing is, the VMP has taken a nerf since then. As far as the magazine size, it's 30 regular, you can see I'm running it right now. I highly recommend you guys to actually run extended mags. So if you want to run a competitive class, this is what I recommend. Obviously with perks, you don't know what's going to be being banned in competitive, but this is the general setup that every single pro player uses. And you have to protect them. If you want to use this gun in uh, competitive, you have to protect it. It's going to get banned every single time. Like If it doesn't get banned, then everyone else is going to be running it anyways in the first place. But uh, yeah, that's what I recommend you guys to do. I also recommend fast hands because the gun excels at being super fast. Anyways, obviously six cents, and then as far as perk free goes, depending on your game type. Like uh, for the most part, I recommend fast hands. That's the only perk that I really recommend you guys to run. Six cents usually gets banned anyways. Again, if you want an MLG tryhard, you're gonna have to work with what they give you. A, a UMG banning everything, right? But uh, whether it's the PGL, whether it's MLG, whatever you're playing in, yeah, like I said, things are gonna get banned. So I can't really give you guys an excellent suggestion for that, except for fast hands because that usually does not get banned. If you want a fun class, uh, I really recommend, okay, th this was, again, the thing that you're seeing is a recommend class from the live stream. Uh, it's more of a fun class than anything. Here's what it looks like. Uh, I don't recommend ELO site. The guy that recommended me this class was like, they'll throw ELO site. I'll, I'll try it out, whatever. Uh, this is a really fun class. You're running anti-up and engineer. And it's just because uh, what you can do in pubs is you can get a few kills with this gun and then die. It doesn't matter. You usually get your streaks anyways. And I'm running really low streaks anyways. But anyways, Hope this helped you guys out. If you guys want to visit the description box for all the stats that I provided, go ahead and do so. But anyways, hope this helps you guys out. Hope this makes you better COD players. And if it helped you out, make sure you guys give that like button a titty slap. And I'll see you guys next time. But thanks for watching. If you want to catch me on live stream when I'm streaming some Call of Duties, link down below in the description box too. But anyways, thanks for watching guys. And I'm signing out.